So are you ready to take your art to the next level? In this video, I will show you how to harness the power of AI to create stunning designs which will blow your audience away. From finding the right tools to experimenting with different techniques, I will guide you through the process step by step. So join me now and discover the exciting world of AI art. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Avinay Jaiswal here from AI Dynamics. What beautiful works of art you are seeing on your screen are created completely by artificial intelligence. As you can tell, these pieces rival the very best of human creations. Fascinating, isn't it? Today, I am going to talk about AI art, especially mid-journey, and how to use it to create beautiful designs such as these in a very short time. Let's get started. Open your browser and type mid-journey in the search bar. Click on the first link to navigate to the official website that is www.midjourney.com. On your first attempt to sign in, you will be redirected to Discord. Now, for those unfamiliar, Discord is a widely used communication tool like platforms such as Skype and TeamSpeak. It enables user to locate and connect with one another as well as facilitating coordination and communication during gameplay. It supports video calls, voice chat and text so that you can get in touch however you prefer. After authorizing your account, you will be redirected back to Midjourney. Sign in and you will be taken to the Midjourney dashboard. Later, I will give a tour of the dashboard and explain all its feature. But for now, scroll down and click the link to join the awesome Discord community. Okay, we are now inside the Discord server of Midjourney. If not, click the Midjourney icon on the left. Scroll down to one of the newbie rooms. The way it works is you will be interacting with the platform through text prompts. You will be typing in commands in the little chat area in the bottom. You see here to generate images. I am going to type backslash imagine cat and zombie wedding and hit enter. Wait, where it, did it go? To see the generated image, you will have to scroll all the way down again. And here it is. Let's open the image in browser to view it in a larger format. As you can see, it did an okay job of imagining what a cat and zombie couple would look like on their wedding day if the cat didn't already eat the zombie first. Let's try again. Imagine futuristic neon racing formula car at fast ride to finish, version 4. V4 is a prompt which tells the bot to generate images by the latest model at the time of this recording which is January 2023. There are a whole lot of writing prompts which I will be sharing you in the later videos. Once the image is generated, you will have the option to choose a larger format or even regenerate new images based on your, on your favorites. The four images on the screen are numbered starting from the upper left corner. They are labeled 1, 2, 3 and 4. To get a variation on one of the images you like, select V1 or V2 or V3 or V4. To get a high resolution copy, select U1 or U2 or U3 or U4. The first button you see in is the refresh button. If you click on it, the AI will generate new images based on the same command. I am going to click it now to demonstrate. Nice. As you can see, new images have been generated. Let's go for the third one and let's generate some variation of it. Again. The third image is the one that looks the best. Now, let's make it bigger. To do this action, click on Upscale 3. It will take some time because it is utilizing the GPU to make it more detailed. Perfect. Now you can save it to your desktop and use it for whatever projects you are working on. Back to the Mid Journey dashboard. As you can see, everything you have created is displayed on the home page. Currently, 
there is a limit of 25 generated images and once you reach that limit, you can visit the subscription page to choose a plan that works for you. One of the most exciting feature here is the community feed where you can see the top creations made by other users. You can even click on these creations and see the specific prompts used to generate them. You can copy commands using Ctrl plus C and go back to Discord and paste the command by entering Ctrl plus V with modifications. This can be a great source of inspiration for your own creations. But remember, always strive to build something original by making your own modifications rather than copy and pasting someone else's work. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more exciting developments in the intersection of AI and art. Who knows what kind of art will be created in the future. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, ring that notification bell and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you informative content. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see you in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.